to this video on translating verbal phrases. Today you will be given a verbal description of an expression and you're going to turn it into math terms. So in order for us to do that, there's a couple of vocabulary words that give us clues as to what kind of operations are occurring. So let's go over those. For addition, um, we've had this come up several times already, sum, that means add them together. Total is another one that you'll see that means add these two together. Plus, increased by, and then more than. Okay, now more than, I'm going to put a little star by because he's special. We're going to talk about him again later. So let's look at some of our subtraction words. Um, often you'll see the word difference, meaning subtract the two terms, minus, decreased by, less than, now that sounds like we're talking about an inequality, and we will talk about those later, but it's, it's phrased slightly different. So just less than means uh, you're subtracting. We're going to put a star by this one too, because he's important. We're going to talk about him again later. And the last one that I want to have on our list is subtracted from. And he also gets a star. So these are some important words that we're going to discuss in just a minute. All right, how about some multiplication words? We have times, product, of, sometimes they say quantity of, uh, twice comes around a lot, and what twice means is to multiply by two. Double comes up quite often. Double also means times two. And what I see often enough is triple, which means multiply by three. Okay, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So let's look at some of the division words that we'll have that we can very likely run into. We could expect to see the word quotient, separate, divide by, then uh, something that you'll see quite often is the word half. Half means you're going to divide by two. Or you could even see the word third, which means divide by three. So those are the main groups of operations that you're going to see, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, there's some two special categories that I want to mention here because they are pretty important and they'll help you be uh, do a better job at reading and understanding what a problem is telling you to do. So there's sometimes parentheses show up in an expression or equation. And how you know that there's um, numbers contained within parentheses is usually you're going to see the words times, the sum of, So that means you would have some number times the sum of something else. That's really kind of what that's saying, okay? Um, the other thing that you could see is times the difference of. So it's the same idea, but this time it's talking about subtraction. So maybe you say three times X minus two instead of X plus two. Okay. And there'd be more information that came after that. But when you start seeing the sum of and the difference of, that's your hint that you're talking about an entire parenthesis of information. Sometimes the difference of, it's also written the difference between. Just kind of depends. Okay. 
Okay, so those phrases mean you're going to have something that's multiplying to at least two terms into a parenthesis. All right, then we have turnaround phrases. Now, what a turnaround phrase means is change the order. So, what I mean by that when you're reading this, most things you write them down in the order that they're written. If they say a number plus x, you write or a number plus four, you'd say x plus four. But sometimes you have to change the order and there's clue words of when you're going to have to change the order. So the one that you're gonna see a lot of times is less than. Remember we mentioned up here when we were doing subtraction, less than and we put a star by him. That means he's a turnaround phrase. So six less than x is x minus six, okay? So you don't write it in the same order when it's one of these clue words. The other one that's very similar to that is more than. Same idea, you're gonna change the order in which the expression is written. Subtracted from. Fewer than. and taken from. So these are all things that could show up. That means just take what they wrote, but change the order in which they're written when you write them in terms of an algebraic expression. So let's just try a couple of these so we kind of get the hang of it. Okay, so our first example is the product of a number and at, at three, a number and three. It doesn't say what variable to use, it just says a number. It can be any number. So I'm gonna use X for that number. So the product means multiplication. So the product of a number and three, remember if you're gonna write it in standard form, is going to be three X. So it's not that it was a turnaround phrase, it's just you want to write it in the standard way of writing it. Um, number two, the difference between a number and 10. The difference between a number and 10. We don't know what that number is. We can use whatever letter we want. So a number, maybe I'll call this one n. The difference between, that means subtraction, a number and 10. Now, do you see how we wrote it in the same order? Number and 10, and we put subtraction between them. It wasn't one of our turnaround phrases, but let's look at number four, and then we'll go back to number three. Number four says four subtracted from a number. So here we have that those words subtracted from. What that means is you want to swap the order and turn them around. So it's not four minus a number, it's really a number minus four. What is that number? I don't know, use a letter. Sometimes they tell you what letter to use and sometimes they don't. So a number minus four. Four subtracted from another. This is four being subtracted from some number. So just be very careful and be on the lookout for those turnaround phrases. Now let's go back to number three. The quotient of a number and negative five. Quotient is a division word. So that means we're gonna be dividing. And dividing, notice none of those showed up in our turnaround phrases. So you just write it the way it's written. The quotient of a number, I don't know what the number is. We've had a couple X's, one, and let's do another N. Doesn't really matter what letter you pick unless they tell you. So the quotient of a number and negative five. So we're showing division. Um, we could have also written it n divided by negative five, but generally what you're going to see in high school is it's going to be written as a fraction in this form. That's the most likely way you're going to see this. Okay, so let's go on to number five. So we have three more than the quantity five times a number n. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. So let's try to take a look. We got a three more than, well, more than means addition, but remember it's one of our turnaround phrases. So we're gonna want to change the order. That three is not gonna be what actually comes first. We're gonna go the quantity of five times a number N. So the quantity of right up here. So we're talking about the multiplication 
of five times the number n. Here they're actually telling us the variable to use. So they're saying five n, and we want to see three more than that. So we say plus three. All right, one last one. These last two we're going to do next week. So let's just, we don't need to deal with these right now. We're just going to skip these. All right, our last one, and then we'll be ready for the practice. Four times a number x decreased by 11. Okay, so there's some stuff going on. So we got four times a number x. So that's 4x decreased by 11. So when I'm looking for decreased by, I see it up here on the subtraction. It's just off your view here. Decreased by. It is not a turnaround phrase, so I don't have to change the order. So we're going to leave it in the order that it's written. So we say 4 times the number x. Well, that's going to be 4x. Decreased by means subtract. And what we're subtracting is 11. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. See you in class.